just go like this all the time. Yeah. <laughs> so guys, and I'll just like remind them. Yeah, and there's, right. there's time traveling. Testing, 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 don't move. What's up guys, this is Nash. Swap Sniper over there, <laughs> am I right? Yes, and uh, we're with Valhack Airsoft. Quick discussion video on Fertile Crescent 5, which is coming up on May 18th and 19th. Now, this is a Revelations event. What can you expect from a normal Revelations event? It's like a big open world style uh, game where you, you got ultimate freedom to do whatever you want. There's no, there's not, there is structure to it, but it's not like you have to go do this and then you have to go do this. You can pick and choose what you do. And you don't have to do anything. You can just sit down and hold it. I mean, you know, yeah. so. Yeah, it's really kind of whatever the player adds to these events is what they get out of it. We just set up the world and the players are the ones that bring it to life. Mm -hmm. so, and, the, and the role players. And yeah. The role players, which is probably one of my favorite things about the event is having the addition of, of role players out there. It's always kind of cool to have, you know, NPCs, whatever you want to call them, people that are there to interact with you in a specific way. They will kind of guide you down a different path to, you know, maybe do something different. Yeah, the goal is to create a world and an environment in which there's always something to do if you want, but you're never really pressured to do something. Unless, of course, people are trying to kill you, which happens constantly during the event. So in brief, as to not explain fully what revs are like, other than that, come with a positive attitude, expect a great time, read the player's packet that's been up for a long time now, read the player's packet, is a little twist on what we're doing that with this event. So we use challenge coins at the Wild West event. How do you think that worked out? Pretty good. How many did we get? I got all seven. I got all seven too. Mm -hmm. And I got them properly. So yeah, we're using achievement coins. They're generic achievement coins that can help you build a certain status. Now, mm -hmm. Fertile Crescent is based generations after the Revelation series in the last healing part of the world. All these people have traveled to. The, what is it? It's almost be it's E, uh, where is it? Well, the real Fertile Crescent is like between the Tigris and the Euphrates, like the supposed birthplace of all life. So but that's like where this is kind of taking place. Yeah, yeah. Ours is wherever that new place might be after a nuclear holocaust and Life's winter. coming back. Yeah. Nature's coming back. But there's just not enough room for everyone and they're killing each other. And over the years, if you played Fertile Crescent or watched videos and stuff, powers rise and fall, people die, people survive, people become wealthy, all that. Over this past year, there are these kind of elders that have taken over and they worship bugs. They worship bugs, they worship insects and everything. We've got cool like graffiti and art stuff going on up there. We're adding lots of color. Uh, bright colors, golden colors, shiny things, whether you paint your face, have it on your gear. It's like they're going to be a neon fun run type <laughs> event. Kind yeah, of yeah. Um, that designates your status as a citizen of the wastelands, of the Fertile Crescent. Uh, or your status as a warrior. So that's one thing that's going on. But one day, there was a loud crack and boom and burst of light. Stargate, the TV show. Stargate, the TV show <laughs> happened. The elders stumble outside and they see this just large sphere and out of it comes this giant metal craft thing, which is our jet, it's our MiG. And this guy comes out of it and he's like, hey, I'm from a different timeline. There's a plague that's about to wipe all of you out. He travels through different timelines or dimensions. Whether people believe this or not, that's up to you during the event to see what you go for. Basically, mankind is becoming extinct in all these timelines and they're fighting to save it in their own. So, His whole job is to kind of go around, rescue people and also drop supplies off to see if they can't save a world. Kind of exactly, like he'll plant a seed, but he's pulling people back to find out what went wrong in our timeline, which opens things up to a bunch of crazy fun stuff we can do in the future. He only, there's gonna be two energy bursts. Ironically, they're gonna happen at the index on day one, index on day two, but these are scheduled from people in another dimension, so we can't really choose when that happens. It just happens to happen then. And they can bring back with them 27 people each time. 27. If, yeah, 27. Uh, if someone were to enter this without having what is considered a time key that genetically bonds to your body, I could explain it, it all. Be something that looks like this probably. But smaller. Uh, the elders were each given one of these keys to activate it during that time, and then they were given 27, well enough for 27 for each burst, to send people back through. Everyone else is gonna die, right? Well, not everyone, because they have these life-supportive 
uh, cell regenerating Elysium type deals pods uh, that can support up to five people in a relatively sealed area during this plague and while it happens. There's going to be 10 of those, which means there's enough for 50 people each day to try to ultimately survive that way. And stay on the, on the old world. Yeah, so what we have found is there needs to be an ultimate objective. So you could be like, no time travel, ha 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 ha. But there will be proof that like these life support devices will save people and like their illnesses will go away and all that. So you get your hands on one of these, that's cool, but they are lootable items unlike personal items and unlike achievement coins. You might need to gain a certain number of achievement coins before the right elder or the right role player gives you a either time key, if that's what you're going for, or one of these health- Pod key or whatever you call Yeah, yeah, one of the, the life support systems. So there's two, two objectives you can go for. Both are like, you know, you, you survive. One, you're, you're getting whisked away to some other dimension with this dude who flew a MiG through a portal into your world. And the other one is, uh, you get to stay, but you survive the plague or whatever, and you, you you have a life support system, everything's good, you got you know a bunch of books to tell you how to build log and whatnot. <laughs> so, it. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and he also of, comes with like all this information that yeah. can help them advance and survive, which a will lot help of, in the future. A lot of books. <laughs> That's your mission if you choose to accept it. Otherwise, there's going to be a million things out there, and what we have found is often that player-created missions, quests, and factions are generally more powerful than field-created missions, factions, quests, and all that kind of stuff. So, guys, I'm so thankful for this community. If you don't, if you're not familiar with Rev, watch all of the Apocalypse series on Swamp Sniper. You get a good idea. We go through this crazy two-day mission of survival, and we ultimately do survive, which is pretty crazy. Yeah, pretty fun. Uh, so yeah, it's coming up, uh, not this weekend, but the following. So the 18th and the 19th, you can pre-process at Balahack Outdoor, which is in Chesapeake next to Target in Greenbrier. Uh, that day you can pre-process, skip the line for registration, skip the line for your waiver check-in, and parking starts at 7 a.m. both days. So just get there early. Get there early, please carpool. These events often have a lot of people. We already have a lot of people pre-registered for it. And last minute thing I wanna throw in is everyone gets pizza after raffles, free gameplay items, custom PVC Fertile Crescent 5 patches that go to the first 600 players that register, and awesome raffles from Elite Force and Falcon, and more like the Riker grip. It's cool grip. Check it out. That's very Making cool. a video on it. So, thank you guys for watching. Um, make sure to hunt down Nash on Instagram at Megaforce Nash. I'm just saying. And get ready for his YouTube. This is Nash. Read the player packet and pre-register. And just come out and rock on. Have fun. Make rock unforgettable memories. So, unforgettable memories until you get Alzheimer's disease. <laughs> Main child. Peace. Rock on. Rock on. One more thing. Let's not forget about the giveaway of the limited edition MP5K from Elite Force. This is going to Garrett Moto and Airsoft. Fact, he has a motorcycle. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be doing another giveaway soon. I'm gonna be also getting on my Wild West videos, but I have a feeling, even though I love telling stories and people like it, that I need to start delivering some of my awesome not my awesome, but that I need to start delivering more of my sniper footage. So you guys are gonna be getting a fair amount of that coming up. Just a bunch of kills and stuff, but it's just kinda, you know, I like telling a story at the same time. I do have some cool products to show you, and I guess that's why it's worth showing you performance and the shots and all that kind of stuff. So thanks for sticking with Swamp Sniper. Thanks for bearing with a discussion video, but I think it helps people get more prepared for understanding uh, what's going to happen in the next Rev series um, so you have an idea of what's going on. Whatever you do out there, guys, stay safe, enjoy life. Peace.